Hi everyone, this is Cody Morrison. This is my module 17 um, data analysis protocol procedure. So starting out up here at the top, um, I've got my grade level slash subject area um, to make this uh, kind of an open working document for multiple different aspects. Um, we have our teaching team here, our data review obviously. Um, and I titled mine DKA and uh, the reason I title it DKA is most of you know is I'm not currently teaching. Um, I actually work for Fire and EMS Department and DKA is actually a medical condition um, that we run every once in a while. Um, and I put it in red because uh, typically with the DKA patient we run them uh, as a code red, uh, which means we run lights and sirens to the ER. So I just kind of put a little fun spin on it for today. Uh, but that stands for data, knowledge, and action. Um, so when we break it down, I kind of went with the old fashioned who, what, when, where, why, how because that answers most every question that we would have um, so you know who's reviewing the data who does this data affect and uh, who's going to implement the changes that we get out of this uh, you know review um, as far as the what you know what are we reviewing why I mean what's the reason for it and uh, what outcomes are we you know expecting or hoping to achieve um, as far as when you know when does the re re results take effect from this review uh, when Will the results be applicable um, and when will the next review take place if it's necessary and needed uh, we move on to where where do the results apply um, where do we need to make changes you know that's going to come out of here um, so that's going to be a big one i think and uh, where does the intervention need to take place if that's applicable um, why what why does this review hold any relevance to us um, why do we need to reconvene if that is necessary and why do these results matter to us uh, lastly with how is you know how do we implement the changes that we you know um, conclude out of this uh, review um, how do we dissect future data if there are changes in our testing or collection methods and how do or did we ensure proper use of the data that we looked at you know did we uh, disaggregate it properly or does that need to be changed um, you know, are we are we looking at big chunks of data? We're we looking at very specific chunks of data. Um, that is the relevancy portion of the how, in my opinion. Um, I think you know, with a protocol that's that looks like this right here, um, it's very simple. It's a working document, something that can be changed as time goes. I hope this is not the final version that I would come up with um, in in the uh, actual practice of using this. Uh, and that's something I would hope that you know the teams that I work with help. Uh, add some relevance to it in some areas. Um, it can be easily adopted to other subject areas um, or grade levels. That's why I left it as, uh, as generalized as I did for this. Um, but it does get down to the uh, big data issues that we've talked about in this class, you know, um, as far as the what, what's its relevance, what's it going to do, how's it going to help, um, and how do we utilize it to our advantage. Um, and as far as being used in my school, I mean, with that perspective, I think it's the same all the way across the board. Um, I don't know what my school is going to be like. Um, like I said, I've been out of the teaching game for over a year now. Um, I'm just, I'll am just i be starting back up in the fall in a brand new district that I've never worked in before. So I'm not sure how that operation is going to go. Um, and I'm only teaching there part-time. I'm literally teaching one hour a, a day. Um, I will continue to be full-time fire and EMS and then teach the one part-time hour. Um, of school so we'll see how that plays out but I think uh, if if I approached with something like this I think it would uh, resonate with some of the teachers there so uh, thank you for watching my presentation and have a great day